Okay guys, so today's dish is an Italian dish called um, patate frittata and I've already peeled my potatoes, washed them and um, putting them into my saucepan to boil them for like five to six minutes to put on your your heat mine is to the highest and then i add my milk so at this point we've added our plant-based milk to it we just have to add a little bit of salt we have here our um, curry powder our white pepper our black pepper and our thyme so you just have to add a little bit of each of them to it yes. We have our bay leaves here too. You just have to drop two into it and then allow it to cook for like five to six minutes. So whilst our potatoes is cooking, we have to add a little bit of oil into our saucepan. Then you allow it to heat up and then you just drop your mushrooms into it and then the remaining of your spice you just add every a little piece of butter to it and stir it all together and then you allow it to cook so guys, um, let's check up on our potatoes. We have to make sure they are halfway cooked. We don't want them to be mushy. So you would have to taste and see. At this point, you can go in your butter then you allow it to cook for an extra two three minutes okay so guys today our dish does not require so much water so we will be using our plant-based milk and then allow it to cook how nice it looks guys at this point we'll be adding in our grated ginger and our grated garlic and then we stir it all together hmm, the kitchen smells really really good At this juncture, we add our favorite spice to it, vegeta, just a little bit to give it some flavor. Our mushroom sauce is done and dusted, so we have to take it off the fire and allow it to cool down. Guys, at this point, we have to check if our potatoes are done, and as you can see, they are soft, but not really soft. So you have to just take off the heat and then allow it to cool down. Okay, so these are my four eggs and I'm just going to whisk them. This meal is for four people. You don't have to whisk it so much. Just a little bit else it will get watery. And then I have my unsalted melted butter here. mix it all together my chopped onions 
so i have my vegan parmigiano cheese here this is going to give our potato frittata a very lovely taste so you mix it all together then this is our mozzarella vegan cheese And lastly, we have our parsley leaves. This is the fresh one. You just have to mix everything together. Let's add a teaspoon of black pepper. Teaspoon of vegeta. And a teaspoon of salt to taste after this you just have to mix it all together so at this point you sprinkle a bit of oil into your baking pan this is what I'll be using and if you don't have an oven you can also use your frying pan for this method so yeah, let's do the painting. <laughs> okay, we have to drop our potatoes in here. Okay. Okay, just look at that. The next step is adding our mushroom sauce to it. Just have to mix it all together till it's properly mixed. So guys, we've added them. Um, Egg mixture and then we are stirring everything together so for our garnishing you just have to add a little bit of our vegan parmigiano cheese and then also our vegan mozzarella cheese this is going to be great so my oven has been heating for like five minutes now so we just leave it in like this and allow it to bake for like 20 to 25 minutes and voila it's done wow i'm so super excited already guys so our potato frittata is ready just look at this goodness yummy like okay so guys welcome back to Chua's veggie kitchen i know y'all all were expecting Chua, but actually it's me I'm back in her kitchen again so this whole thing was planned with her husband to actually surprise her she went to work only to come back home to find me Benedicta Benel once again in her kitchen I just wanted to surprise her so I decided to make this potato frittata for her so Joa <laughs> So let me just invite her over to just taste my Italian dish. Oh, <laughs> why are you so surprised? Guys, I am so, so much surprised, okay? I actually went to work and when I came back from work, as I was climbing my stairs, I was smelling something good. So I was like, hey, even though my husband can cook so, so well, but I was like, hey, 
hmm, today's food is going to be something else. So immediately I opened the door. I just came directly to the kitchen and I saw I was like, hey baby! <laughs> the support okay. <laughs> she knows that it's because of my work it had to make videos very often so she came by she all, the way, it, all the way she get. To get, and <laughs> oh, i'm so much grateful no, and sure. thank you honey <laughs> for planning this together husband of the century well, <laughs> for those who know get husband <laughs> Let me do the tasting, okay? I know how Bene cooks. Eh? I'm a chef. She's not only good in sobolo making. Just look at this. She's actually half Italian, okay? So Thank you. Let me say just one word. Buongiorno. Buongiorno, cara mia. Hey, that's the only Italian word that I can say, okay? So let me do the tasting. Bene. Come here. Okay. Come here. So family, thank you all for watching and thank you, Benedicta. Benedict, I love you so much. But sometimes you just trust me. You just trust me. You know that, right? Uh-uh. <laughs> we are on set too. <laughs> so guys, family. until next time. It's healthy. It's good. Bye bye. <laughs>